Hey everybody, today we are going to have a look at the Mini Auto Adamas from Benchmade Knives. This is a classic Shane Seibert design. Let's get that all the way. I think this comes with the safety engaged on here on the back. So if I pull down on the axis lock, I have automatic action on my Mini Adamas, which is really nice, very handy one hand opening folder. So let's start with the blade on this one. This is a drop point blade here of CPM Crewwear Tool Steel. So really tough steel on this knife. It's gonna hold a really good edge. So Benchmade went ahead and added a gray Cerakote coating to this to even further the protection on this knife, on this steel, on this knife steel because it's not a stainless steel. So having that Cerakote on there is great for uh, longevity of your steel. Really cool looking blade, super pointy drop point, which is just overall useful. Got a little bit of a thumb ramp on it for choking up, which is really cool. And then these dual fullers. Let's head down to the handle. And this version is black G10. Both sides, we've got the black G10. It's got some nice machining on it, have some grooves, and the familiar Adamas cutout holes on here, which also add the grip. So once you squeeze that in your palm there, your fingers kind of fill into the holes. Really convenient, feels really good in hand. Kind of a thicker handle. The Adamas is known to be kind of a tactical line. So it feels really good in regular hand and if you have a glove on as well. So really cool, really nice construction on the handle for the Mini Adamas. So if we flip it around to the back here, we've got a deep carry butterfly pocket clip, which can be reversible to the other side, which is really handy if you're left-handed. And we've got all torque screw construction, including a couple barrel spacers back here. So nice open construction, even for an auto, which usually you don't see. Really easy to clean and maintain, which is really nice. So if we want to head up to the star of the show here, which is the axis lock, which you all are pretty familiar with, makes it fully ambidextrous and it operates just like the manual one. So I just have to pull down on it. There's no thumb studs, no flipper. I simply pull down on it and the automatic action is engaged. So I can use the safety on this if I'm carrying it in my pocket. I want to make sure that that blade doesn't move or anything. I can engage this safety spine here. So I did want to compare it with a manual Mini Adamas, if you've had one of these before, just to kind of give an overall look to this knife. They are very similar to the, to the manual versions. We wanted to bring out the trusty scale here and just see if there's a weight difference in the automatic version from that mechanism. So this first one is the manual version, and it's about 4.6, it looks like, on the scale ounces there. And the auto version, it's about 4.83, so definitely a little bit of a difference. The auto version is going to be a little bit heavier. And I wanted to point out on these, a little bit difference with these holes. So typically, you'll see on this mini Adamas one here, they've got these lightning holes cut into both sides, which really helps lighten the load on this kind of a small tank knife. Well, with the auto mech, they had to put more G10 behind the holes. So basically, you can't see through the handle anymore. It's going to add a little bit to the weight. No big deal, still looks cool. Just pointing out the differences there between the auto and the manual. All right, so to close guys, I just wanted to show all the varieties uh, the Mini Auto Adamas comes in. We've got the black G10 and the gray blade that I've been showing so far. We also have an olive green G10 with a flat dark earth Cerakote blade. These both are also just crew wear. So the two G10s come in crew wear. And the really fancy version here is the marble carbon fiber handle with MagnaCut steel. And you get that extra carbon fiber behind those holes, just like on the G10 version. So these are all really neat. If you like what you've seen today, definitely click the links below and head on over to gpknives.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay sharp.